All right, so get this. We are diving deep into a management training program, and it's by Positivity Global Coaching. Hmm. And it's all about turning managers into, get this, coaches. Okay. And they're like throwing in this whole DCC personality profiling thing too. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but like whether you're, you know, like trying to climb the corporate ladder or you're just fascinated by like what makes teams click, this deep dive is going to be like chock full of insights. Oh, for sure. For sure. And it's definitely not your typical leadership seminar. Right. Yeah. You see, Positivity Global Coaching, they're addressing a real problem that I think a lot of companies face these days. Okay. Which is that you have all these managers who might have the know how. Yeah but they can't connect with their teams. Yeah. You know, so their program is using this mix of personalized coaching and hands-on training to kind of close that gap. That's huge. And you know what? It kind of reminds me of that quote by Dale Carnegie. Okay. You know, it is said that employees don't leave companies, they leave managers. Right, right. And this program, like, it sounds like it's handing managers the tools to like turn that around, you know, to actually make employees happy to come to work and like want to stick around. Yeah, absolutely. That's precisely what they're aiming for. And DISCI is like a cornerstone of their whole approach. Okay. So let's unpack this whole DISCI thing. Okay. Is it like, is it like a personality test or like, what are we talking about here? Yeah. You know, think of it more as a way to understand your natural management style. Okay. Like it's a mirror uh -huh. reflecting back how you show up in a leadership role. Gotcha. So it's going to reveal your strengths, your blind spots, what you love about leading, and even what stresses you out, you know, all that good stuff. So self-awareness is a biggie here. Huge. But the material also mentioned this thing about people reading, and I was like, what is, is that like figuring out your team's personalities too? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Learning to recognize disc styles and others, that's like a game changer for any manager. It's about going beyond those assumptions and really understanding the why behind your team's actions. I like that. So, for example, you might have a team member with a very strong D style. Oh, strong D. Yeah, so dominant. Okay. And they might be very direct, very outcome-oriented, even a bit impatient. Mm -hmm. Recognizing this helps you tailor your communication and your approach in a way that really resonates with them. That makes sense because, I mean, we can't expect everyone to respond to the same management style. Right? Exactly. Everyone's different. Speaking of different styles, something called Manage Up really caught my eye. Okay. Are we talking about, like, managing your own manager here? Yes. Yes, you got it. Okay. So imagine this. Okay. You understand your manager's DC profile. Mm -hmm. Their communication quirks, their pet peeves, you know, the works. Okay. Now, you can adapt your approach to work with their style. Yeah. Creating a much smoother more productive relationship. Wow. That manage up concept is genius. I wish I knew about that like way earlier in my career, but okay. <laughs> We've got this DC foundation, which sounds incredibly valuable. Absolutely. But what about the actual coaching part of this program? Right. What are they teaching managers to do differently? So they're helping managers ditch that old command and control style. Okay. And step into the role of a coach. Okay. So guiding, empowering, and really unlocking their team's potential. Okay. So things like active listening, asking thought-provoking questions, and really digging deep to understand each team member's aspirations. That sounds so much more empowering. It is. Both for the manager and the team. Absolutely. But be honest, how does all this translate into like, you know, real results in the workplace? So picture this, you're using coaching to help an employee figure out like their strengths, you know, their weaknesses yeah. leading to a more focused development plan. Right. Okay. Or think about those like sometimes dreaded performance conversations. Yeah, yeah. And now they're transformed into these discussions about growth, about potential, not just evaluation. Right. So it's about fostering this whole culture of feedback and like continuous improvements that benefits everybody. Okay. I can see how that shift in mindset can make a huge difference, right? It's not about pointing fingers. It's about like working together to grow. Exactly. But let's zoom back in on the program itself. Yeah. We've talked about DISI and we've talked about coaching, but like separately. Yeah. So how do they like actually weave those two things together in the program? So they've designed this whole program to like maximize the impact of both. Okay. It kicks off with the DISI assessment. Right. Which is kind of like hand you the playbook to understanding yourself and your team's working styles. Gotcha. Then through those individual coaching sessions and group training, they give you the tools and techniques to actually apply those insights to real-world challenges. 
So you're not just left hanging with a bunch of personality profiles. No. You're learning how to actually use that knowledge. Exactly. Exactly. To lead more effectively. Yeah. And it's a very hands-on approach. Okay. So like, what does that look like? So the program includes this interactive group training. Okay. Where you can bounce ideas off other managers. You can participate in workshops. You can even role play different scenarios. Oh, wow. It's a safe space to practice what you're learning and to get feedback from both experts and peers. Oh, I bet those peer interactions are so valuable. Oh, they are? Because it's one thing to like learn something in theory. Yeah. But hearing how other people are applying those concepts in their own workplaces, mm -hmm. that's where the real learning happens, right? Absolutely. And speaking of real world application, yeah. they also incorporate these one-on-one -on -one executive coaching sessions into the mix. Okay, so that's where things get like really personalized. Yes. Tell me more about these coaching sessions, what happens behind closed doors. Think of it as having like your own personal leadership coach in your corner. Okay. You'll dive deeper into your own Odyssey profile, you'll set some specific coaching goals, right. and you'll tackle those like nagging management challenges you might be facing. Yeah. All with the guidance of this like experienced coach. Wow, that's a pretty sweet perk. It is. Okay, so we've got the DC assessment, we've got the group training, we've got these one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, anything else? They also recommend a book. Okay. Positivity Coaching by Angela Ster Lopez. Is that like their their management manifesto or something? Not quite a manifesto. Okay. It's more like a framework for personal growth and leadership development. Got it. That really complements the program's core concepts. Interesting. So it sounds like they've covered all the bases, right? We've got the self-awareness piece, mm -hmm. the practical skills training, and even some like recommended reading to dive deeper. There you go. But let's be real, being a manager, it's a busy gig. It is very busy. How does positivity global coaching accommodate those crazy schedules? Flexibility is key. Okay. They emphasize self-paced learning. So you can fit the program into your schedule, you know, without feeling overwhelmed. Okay, that makes sense in theory, but like what does that look like practically? Sure. Like how much time are we talking for each of these components? So the DC assessment itself, yeah. that takes about 15 minutes. 15 minutes to gain valuable insights into your management style. I'd say that's a pretty good return on investment, even for the busiest manager. I agree. Absolutely. Okay. Well, then you've got those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, right? which total about three hours okay. spread out over the program. Right. They recommend some prep time between meetings to yeah. really get the most out of those sessions. Yeah, that makes sense. And the interactive group training, that's about 16 hours in total. Okay. And that's delivered online or face-to-face, -face, okay. depending on what works best for you. So we're looking at, what, roughly 20 hours of focus development time? Yeah, about that. Spread out over the course of the program? Yeah. Okay, that seems, that seems manageable, even with, like, a packed schedule. But what about the book? Yeah. How much time should someone, like, realistically set aside for that? Yeah. So the book itself is a decent length. Right. But they don't expect you to like, you know, devour it all at once. Right. The idea is to focus on chapters that really resonate with you. Okay. Perhaps those that like tie in with your coaching sessions or yeah. themes that are coming up in the program materials. So it's like a choose your own adventure approach to the reading material. Exactly. I like that. So they've really thought of everything to make this program as accessible as possible. They really have. They understand that managers are busy. Yeah. So they created a program that's both comprehensive. Right. But flexible. It's not just about like checking boxes. Mm -hmm. It's about creating like lasting change. Yes. They're giving managers the tools and the support they need to like seriously level up their leadership game. I agree. And that's something worth investing in. It is. It's an investment not just in the manager themselves, but in their team and in the organization as a whole. Right. When managers prioritize their own development. Yeah. It creates this ripple effect of positive change oh, really? throughout the workplace. It's like they're saying, hey, we've got this amazing roadmap for you, but uh, feel free to choose like your own pace yes. and even which landmarks are, are most important for, for your journey. Exactly. It's refreshing, really, especially in the often rigid world of like corporate training. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not about you know, force feeding information. Right. It's about giving managers the reins to their own development yeah. and encouraging them to apply these concepts in a way that feels genuine 
to to their leadership style. Because let's be real, every manager, every team, every single workplace, it's different. There's mm. no like magic formula for leadership that works in every situation. You're absolutely right. But these core principles of DISTI and coaching, right? those are the foundational building blocks. Yeah. No matter no matter where you're starting from. Okay. They equip managers with the tools to unlock their own potential. Yeah. And by by extension, unlock the potential of their teams as well. It's like giving them the keys to like a a whole new level of leadership. <laughs> yes. One that's more engaging, more fulfilling, and ultimately more effective. Absolutely. And when that happens, when mm -hmm. managers feel empowered and teams thrive, the benefits they ripple outwards. Yeah. You see increased productivity. You see happier employees. Right. And a more positive and inclusive company culture overall. It's a win-win for everyone involved. It is. So for our listener out there who's thinking, okay, this sounds incredible. How do I jump on board? Yeah. What's the best way to learn more about Positivity Global Coaching and this program specifically? I encourage them to check out the Positivity Global Coaching website. Okay. They've got all the details about their boot camp for managers there. Perfect. Plus information on other resources and programs that they offer. Yeah. Consider this your official nudge to invest in yourself and your leadership journey. You never know. It might just be the catalyst for a major positive shift, not just in your career, but in the lives of the people you work with every single day. It's so true. This has been an incredibly insightful deep dive. It has. Thanks for joining me. The pleasure was all mine.